Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for me to episode 6 of My Dear Friend No Quentin. So, I didn't think we would see each other until Sunday. Mm -hmm. I even said that in last night's video. Then, <laughs> and only then, getting a call, it's now 3.09, really 3.08, because my laptop likes to be one minute faster. I got a comment, because mind you, I just woke up like two hours ago, like for the third time. Um, so mind you, I got a comment at like one o'clock, but when I read it, it was later. It was like about like 27 minutes later, um, saying that Crunchyroll has now moved it to Wednesdays. And, and mind you, okay, let me tell you what my brain was on and what my face looked like. <laughs> when I read this. Mind you, I was still half ass asleep. <laughs> I was just waking up and shit. Now, you know the one little meme or, like, sound from TikTok where it's like, thank God, finally. And then it's like, what the fuck? So, I'm over here, like, you know, thinking of last night. Like, yeah, I'll see y'all on Sunday. Thank God, finally. And then we get the comment and then we're thinking of, what the fuck? Because I wasn't expecting to see y'all today. But, you know, because the show is popular, I'm not surprised that the fact is they were like, hey, we're having this come out on a different day. Because, like, I think beforehand, I think episodes were, episodes were still coming out on, were subbed by Sunday. But I think, um, Japan had them a couple of days earlier, which, I mean, I'm okay with. But, like, when you're on Twitter... When you're on TikTok and maybe a little bit of Instagram, you know, you sometimes try not to get spoiled and you're trying to avoid scenes and you, you see little clips here and there, you know, okay, for your, for your you page, ultimately. So yes, I had to avoid shit like the plague. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode six in three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> 18 mini up. <laughs> Wait, we're doing Tropical Rouge Pretty Care? <laughs> because Tropical Rouge Pretty Care did that shit where it was like, I think, nine... Nine short stories in one episode, and it was freaking hilarious. That is literally the best episode of Tropical Rouge. Well, it's the second best. Well, no. It is the best episode for Tropical Rouge. The best animation quality for Tropical Rouge pretty here. I have, like, three or four, and they are so damn good. <laughs> Also, that is just crazy that we're now having both this and Oshi on the same day because Kana say you. And then the pretty years once again interacting on set on Wednesdays. What's up? Well, remember, think about what happened in the pre <laughs> Think about what happened in the previous episode. You have coffee? Out of your mouth, babe. 
No, 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 thank you. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ain't for effort. Is there a wrong answer? <laughs> mm. No bubba for you. Girl, you ain't. That's not Boba. Oh God, you're not gonna get horny about the, too late. You're getting horny about the hand-me-down. And free we like that I got some other things too. Uh, <laughs> oh. 
Oh. <laughs> I mean, but it's Nogaton. Nogaton's popular as fuck, so literally get anything of her and be like, hey, I'm selling this. People would buy it. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Kitty! Uh, no. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> yeah, did you get inspired by Butchie the Rock? Damn, she got to play three of <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Look how shiny she is. Yeah, but we're not going to talk about spots all over you? Yeah. Are you sick? Then why do you have spots all over you? It, it's not chicken pox. Right?
she's out. Yeah, yeah, but no, due to this situation, she's just out. <laughs> Not the tear, babe. <laughs> May May, stop eating for like five minutes! See, he has the spots too. Bambi? That had to be a like reference to Bambi, right? If not, what was the reference? <laughs> Mame, don't take that home to no me, 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 me. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's summer. What? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we see some weird ish with this show, but no, it's cute.
Yeah, the snake thing. We literally just talked about that with Pretty Hair this week. What? Well, but it's a snake-like creature, babe. <laughs> oh, that is a tongue twister. <laughs> Is it hungry? Feed it a deer cracker. Deer crackers. Oh, doesn't want the deer cracker. So then what what would it eat then? Chalk? Okay. E.T. <laughs> Here we go again. sweet <laughs> I mean so I'm hoping that we get to see it in every single episode now before the series ends because we're already at the like halfway point for this show so it makes the most sense now it's like a pet so we gotta see it every single week every Wednesday show every Wednesday I don't care we have to have one moment where we see it <laughs> I think the biggest part of the <laughs> the mini portion episodes was the Mercari one because, Mar okay, yes, Mercari is popular as fuck. Yes, I've sold some things and bought some things on Mercari myself. I'm still selling things on Mercari. How American Yuka um, Yukari <laughs> Mercari just finally now accepted Mercari Japan, so now I can buy stuff all the way from Japan, but. <laughs> just like buying something from an international country, it is very, very expensive. Like, you could have, like, the cheapest price, but it's expensive. Um, <laughs> for international sales, I get that. Because, like, I think I was looking at, um, I was looking at a couple of things. I was looking at things for other things that I like. So, anything from Bandari, anything from Divo DJ. 
Idol Masters from Other Girls ish, some things from Dress Up Darling or whatever. And so, like, let's say something was like the one thing that I saw um, was this, I think, pedometer. They wanted $18 for the item, but they wanted like 38 bucks and some ch- and some change for international shipping. That that's still not bad. I mean, but that is expensive, so it's like you got to use it wisely, but because of the fact is it's coming all the way from Japan to America, of course. It's not my first time buying something um all the way from Japan to here like None of these four figures were bought from Japan. Um, the Penguin Drum Princess of the Diamond figure that I got umpteen years ago, that strictly came from Japan, but I got that actually half off. So I think when that figure initially um, came out, that was like maybe, what, three, four hundred, maybe five hundred dollars. And I got it <laughs> years later when I finally got into the show. <laughs> Thank you, a Patreon person. Um, I got it for like a hundred and fifteen, which was not bad, but it was like it was really good quality. It's still a good quality. Um, it still looks brand spanking new. I just don't have it out because of the fact is it, it's a big ass figure. It's like I think it's a three fourth scale figure, but it, it's gorgeous. It's a flawless, pretty gorgeous looking figure and such and i'm so happy that i have it because i'm like ah so when i whenever we move into a house and i'm able to have like a bigger room and such like we we already talked about the townhouse situation we're not going to bring that back up but whether i move into a house with my mom or i end up moving into my own physical apartment and when i may like i might even get like a two-bedroom um apartment and such or i don't know just yet i'm thinking um if, I, if it's just, like, a one-bedroom, because I'm wondering how the fuck am I going to do that? How am I going to... Because I don't want my room and my my bedroom and my room that I recorded to be the same area like I have now. I want my bedroom kind of separated from that-ish. I'm, I'm not sure yet. We're thinking. <laughs> I can't really think about it too much because I don't have enough money for an apartment yet, so... <laughs> Um, but I don't know, dead ass. And then I think, what else can I think and compare it to? Uh, the, the pretty cure items that I bought. So like any of the transformation brooches, any of the wands, um, or just anything from pretty cure in general, I think, uh, when I was buying, I can't see it now because the closet is closed. Um, one of the, it was the, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Delicious Party Pretty Cure, Cure Finale's, um, her whole thing. It was the brooch and everything. Because I, I wanted it. Your girl, mind you, your girl was scouring. <laughs> I still do it now, like, any time where I'm like, I'm going on Amazon Japan, and I'm going to look for this. Um, I was hunting for certain Pretty Cure items because, duh. And I think I paid... If we're adding everything all together, I think I paid about a good 50 bucks for it. So, yeah, you never really know. That's why I, like, I remember one time I had a conversation with one of my friends, and they were like, oh, my God, why is this so expensive? Or when I have conversations with customers at my old job and how they asked me, you know, if they're wondering, if they're trying to either send something back to China England, um, Japan itself, somewhere where, like, they bought something on Amazon and let's say it's through, like, a third-party website, um, or a third-party, uh, operator, but it's still through Amazon, and then let's say something happens along the way, like, let's say, um, a mirror breaks, or the rug that you purchase is not, it doesn't look like what you thought it was gonna look like when you initially bought it. Um, it's like a hundred dollars plus just to send it back to that country and so I always tell people I'm like if you don't want to pay a hundred dollars plus um to send this back you can always send it <laughs> resell it on Macari <laughs> because everybody will buy it off Macari the shit that I have bought on Macari really more once again anime merch um yeah yeah the last big thing hell the last big thing that I sold was um an xbox because I didn't want it anymore. Because <laughs> I was like, why the fuck do I need this? <laughs> but no, this was a really good episode. I love the fact that we literally, it, it, 
really, it was just like, what, 20 episodes in one, really? Uh, mini episodes and just like a big half chunk of an episode. So I, I do secretly kind of hope that they do this again, especially like if it's not for, because we're still all, so, uh, I can all speak. We're still trying to figure out what the hell episode 10 is going to be. Um, if it's not for episode 10, I would like to see if it's the final episode. That, that would be hella good, but you know. Who knows? Maybe they might be weird and have like a if they imagine if they collabed with an anime for the final episode. I mean, you technically kind of did a reference to Bochi the Rock today. So if I could say one anime that I would like to see the series kind of collab with, and it's very obvious, you know, by the people who okay, no, the Seiyu who plays Mei Mei, not that show. I am not thinking that show. The other other show that that. <laughs> anime studio has created aka pop team epic i would like to see that something about that would be fucking nuts but i would eat that shit up though like dead ass other than that guys that is my reaction to her episode six <laughs> of my dear friend no quit time if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for episode seven but until then i will see you guys all next time bye